Hey peeps, it's your girl Daxani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I want to say thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos and listen to me ramble and talk crap about my art. <laughs> um, especially, you know, uh, for the last video. And I want to say hello to all of my new subscribers. I noticed a little more growth in my sub count lately, so hi! My name is Danae, but I go by Daxani or Dax here on all my social medias pretty much. I'll tell you all about how I came up with my username in the next video, I suppose, which will definitely be my uh, Meet the Artist video. I was holding off on that for a while, but I guess it's time. Yeah, so that'll be the next video after this. Alrighty then, uh, since I got that out of the way, for today's drawing I will be taking an old Inktober piece that I did, um, I think it was in 2017, and I'm basically recreating that drawing here on my iPad Pro. Every once in a while, I'll look back at my old art and recreate them when I have art block. And honestly, it's interesting to see improvement and changes to my art. I've said this before in a couple of other videos, but it's definitely a great way to see how much you've grown when re redrawing an older piece of art. Because, like, for me, I was able to see, like, oh, wow, hey, you know, um, I drew this differently, or I gained a new technique, and sometimes even it helps with seeing, I, I don't know if I want to call them flaws, but I'm going to call them anyway. Um, it helps me see more flaws in my art and to see what I need to continue to work on, like, oh, how can I draw hands better, you know? That's a great example because hands are a bunch of crap when it comes to my artwork, but that's okay because every now and then I, um, I've drawn some really good gems of hands and, um, but this time around I was just kind of, it was a little iffy. Um, I had to take a picture of my own hand, like, like as if something was floating above my palm. So, I mean, this was the best that I can do. It needs a lot of work, of course, a doy. Also, as I stated before, I'm still experimenting with brushes on Procreate and how to use them and to see which works best for me. I'm not too fond of the anatomy in this, honestly. The hands are, they're okay. Um, could definitely be much better, but compared to the one I did for Inktober, I like the overall look of this one. Maybe I can't compare too much, only due to the fact that the original was done traditionally. Um, so there's that, you know, um, as far as like, Style-wise, it's like similar, but it's also different at the same time. But I definitely do see some improvement. If anything, I probably see a little bit improvement anatomy-wise. Just, just a little teeny tiny bit. But that's okay because uh, anatomy is a pain in the ass. But I'm going to get through this. Um, it's going to be okay. I think my only and major regret for this redraw is the fact that she looks much older. Versus the original, she looks younger and it got me thinking that I should probably work on drawing faces where you can decipher their age. This new one has more sharper features and a curve in the body shape. Also, maybe I could rethink the outfit as well because it, it does look like something that an older woman, a more mature woman would wear. Um, so I think that was kind of a conflict too in my original one because honestly, I think like I did want something that was more youthful um, with this like earth goddess theme, but I think the outfit kind of looked... I don't know, it looked too, it, it, it was just too grown for her, in my opinion, um, versus I think it does, the outfit works for my redraw because the fact that she looks older in the face, but I, 
do kind of want to go more with that youthful approach like I did in the beginning when I first drew this lovely earth goddess but um yeah I think that's definitely something I need to work on maybe if I made her about 12 I would have her wear something more playful and pretty you know not saying this outfit isn't pretty but something that's more I don't know that's not so grown so I, I think I'll definitely revisit this in the future, but it's definitely got me thinking about a lot of things that I need to improve on. Now, I do love the floating, glowing rose as well, and I just kept the background like very simple because I was more focused on the character um but I just kind of did like a sunset background to kind of create like this like chill mood like she's got this like really chill face like she's like you know she's proud and peaceful of the earth around her and this little magical rose that's you know in her in her in her hand so I think it definitely sets the mood for sure So yeah, this is the complete drawing. I hope you all like this. As always, I'm down to receive any type of feedback in the comments and such, or just DM me on Instagram, that's fine too. Or send me any links of videos that can help me improve and grow. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, hey, feel free to subscribe, but don't feel obligated to. It's just a suggestion, okay? Um, as always, thank you all for listening and thanks for watching. And thank you all for subscribing. You know, that means a lot. But um, I'll chat with you soon in the next video. Bye!